might be a tourist if you see me in the colonnade in the room. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, I'm Jenny, and I am a tourist today. I am at Death Valley Junction. I got a room here. We are gonna spend the night again. It's been a minute, but we're gonna spend the night again, and we're going to just be a tourist. Why? Because I've never just been a tourist, right? Hi, I'm Jenny and come along with me today to Death Valley Junction and spend the night with me. I'm gonna go to Tacopa, gonna watch the morning sunrise. I don't know what else I'm doing. I'm just on a tiny vacation. Welcome to Death Valley Junction. Conjunction Junction, what's your function? Looking for Jesse, but he's not around. Conjunction Junction. <laughs> I love that. I'm gonna make breakfast and watch the sun come up and I'm gonna go look at the Milky Way and then I'm going to Copa for wood fire pizza and a whole bunch of Farkle. I don't know. What else am I gonna do? I don't know. Oh, I know what else we were gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna talk about the popular movie locations. There's been a lot of movies that have been filmed here. Movies and music videos, and maybe not a lot. Uh, probably two handfuls. But, let's talk about them. Who was filmed here? What did they do? I, I'm bringing it to you. <laughs> Hi. They match the curtains. And tomorrow was supposed to be a hiking day. In the morning, I might shift gears and not go hiking right away. And I might just sit on the colonnade and have tea. And I brought art stuff so I could sketch or paint. Or just sit and look at the birds. Not sure. This is another one of those vlog videos. This is going to be like Jenny just doing weird stuff. Randomly. But <laughs> that's okay. I hate to break it to you. But there's nothing spooky about this room. I know what the TV said. There's just literally nothing spooky sleeping underneath cherubs. There's not. Hotel's really quiet. I'm probably the loudest thing in it right now. <laughs> I'm trying to film at 11.30 at night. It's late. It's super late. Hmm. I am getting really excited though because for the next three weeks in Death Valley so much it's, it'll just be my middle name because it's already getting hot when you stay in the room in the morning everything turns red as the sun comes up Good morning, sunshine. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. I'm making coffee. Going out that door. Got my coffee for everybody. Because <laughs> I know how to do that.
nope, can't make coffee because they don't leave it out for you to make coffee anymore. You have to wait for somebody, so I'm gonna make it myself in my room or on the colonnade. No hot water, no coffee, until somebody shows up at eight, which is not okay for everybody that stays here. There should always be access to hot water. No hot water is baloney, phony. See, my room's nice and red. But it's not gonna ruin my do nothing day. Cause I got water and we got a little camp stove. And I got plenty of coffee, of course. So let's go outside. Ready? Something that not a lot of people know about this room is this is the room that they filled Lost Highway in. I guess I just woke up to shock that everything was so not customer friendly. Okay, now I got some coffee. I'm moving my chair away from that post so I can just sit and watch the cars go by. And hopefully see Jesse. I haven't seen Jesse yet this morning, but I might have slept in too much. I laid in bed and watched the sunrise coming through the window. Just not the same sometimes. Here's more nature. There's just nature here. I really don't know what you are or why you decided to sit on my foot and watch the sunrise. The only reason why I'm not freaking out is because you're on top of my little blanket. Okay, something else to be prepared for. Love this place. Absolutely love the junction. We got skylights in the bathroom and you do have to be prepared for the, this is a hundred year old hotel. And then somewhere in the seventies and eighties, they just fix things how they did. Like for instance, you'll see tile that doesn't match, but one of the things is you gotta let the water run, but you just gotta deal with the fact that the plumbing is weird. You have to turn the hot water on. Let's see, is it hot yet? No. And let it run for about five minutes, maybe 10, maybe even 15, depending on how long you've been in the hotel. And be prepared for weird things like this. And what I mean by uh, depending on how long you've been in the hotel. So, there's just centralized water tanks. Um, and so if everybody's taking a shower at the same time, it's kind of being in a dorm. I got the water going. We'll give it about five, 10 minutes. We'll come back and check that we got hot water. And there we go. And this is gonna be such a great do nothing day. We're just gonna hang out and just do different kinds of stuff. Not necessarily nothing. 
Okay, we're about six minutes in. Oh, I got some lukewarm water. It's kind of medium warm. We'll give it another couple minutes. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's hot enough to take a shower. Definitely, I didn't even turn the cold on. You kind of almost can't. I'm just excited to take a nice hot shower in this beautiful skylight. And, oh, hi. <laughs> okay, this is totally not what I normally do. But, okay, at some point you're gonna have to turn the cold on and then there's hot water that's coming out of the cold. But, look at that! Look at that skylight, it is amazing. Beautiful, warm, hot shower after you wait 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, it's hot, now it's hot. But, let's add some cold water. I'm so excited. I just love this place, but we'll talk about it later. You either love it or you hate it. It's one of those things. You either love the junction or you hate the junction when it comes to staying in the rooms. And things like this, this is the roots of the tamarisk growing up and under the actual building. And sometimes there's a little bit of wildlife in your room. This one is pretty harmless. I'm gonna try and capture him and put him back outside because I'm sure he does not want to be in the bathroom. Oh, look at that beautifulness. So beautiful. The cafe there, but that is the door from that music video. Can't take you inside. I know that's the door because one, that's the only door that has these kinds of windows next to it. And I also know once you get inside there, there's multiple rooms. It's basically storage for the junction now. I don't know if I can see it. See? construction storage oh there's a cool horse crossing sign though to the left is a room to the right is a room and then when you head towards the back it's almost like a little mini apartment because you used to be able to go in through the left it's where we keep all our stuff to work on stuff there's even an extra toilet in the house but this is the room that he sat in and it was all empty in the 80s and the door is right there and he walks in and comes in this empty room and sits on the chair. It is this door. At long ago, there was no door. And you could just walk. Oh, here we are. You would walk down that sidewalk and then it curves to the right and that was an apartment back there. We're talking long, long time ago. When this place first opened, I don't know when that stopped being an apartment. I'm just walking around gathering some clips of movies and videos that they've filmed here. As you know, they've filmed quite a few things here at the junction. Aside from people and their spookiness. Their spooky movies. I could live out here if it wasn't so far away from the kids. That right there, folks, real quick, is the garage from Lost Highway. So I slept in the room from Lost Highway. And in front of me here, you see this lovely garage that was used for the movie Lost Highway. That curb right there.
paint. Windy. Oh, hi, buddy. Okay, so the shot of many things have been filmed at this little spot right here. We got Hitcher, got music videos, but this is the shot from the big log where they come here and then they, they walk along the colonnade. Obviously, you can see it wasn't painted turquoise back then. Yes, the wind is out. Might come back. Okay, little known secret or fact, those are very clean porta potties and just constantly the truckers are like, woohoo, we got a clean porta potty on our way down the road. <laughs> a mountain hymn. Oh, look at these people. They travel with a bench. Oh my goodness, see? That, look at that. That's, okay. Now one, I'm just assuming that they travel with a bench so that they can watch sunsets and sunrises. They could be traveling home somewhere and that could just be taking furniture somewhere. But I don't know, if he stops, I'm gonna ask him. Because that's a pretty cool idea. You travel and then you're like, oh, let's watch the sunset and pull a bench out. Okay, so I've stopped and we, wag we, we flagged the car down and there's the bench and I've met Tom and I asked Tom, Hey, what do you have a bench for? Do you like to pull it down and watch sunrises and sunsets? And then I'll let, you, I'll let Tom tell you what he does. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I had to tell her. I said, well, really what it's for is uh, uh, I had polio when I was just a baby. And, and I play the guitar. And I, uh, the way that I have to sit and play the guitar, I, I, I need more room on the side to press the guitar onto the bench. And then I could play well. Are Otherwise, you guys traveling I don't play well. through town? What's that again? Are you just traveling through town? Oh, I'm, I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm, uh, I tune pianos for a living. How, how do you like that? How many piano tuners do you know? Oh, I only know hand. the one that tunes our piano. There you go. It's either that one or more me. Or you. Uh, yes. You but anyway, yeah, that's the story of my life, yes. All right, Tom. <laughs> okay. So, yes, I stopped Tom and John and I'm in my pajamas. I don't normally like walk around in my pajamas in life, but apparently at the junction, I feel that that's, not, that's totally appropriate. Um, but yeah, the, how neat was that? And they're gonna come back at nine o'clock for a tour. Yay. I mentioned this is also the scene of the hitcher and of course we have the lost highway garage okay so I accidentally ended up with an extra copy of this book tobacco road because lonesome Doug accidentally sent it to me so um, I have two so I kept one for myself to read but I put a a little note in there and in the sunroom of the junction is kind of like a free want to come and read library and so there we go 
I'm gonna put that there. I just love the way the sun comes in and the nice long shadows, new couches, which is good because the couches that are here in the great room are Red Skelton's couches. Isn't that fun? He was such a great friend of Marta. And then when he remodeled his estate, he brought the couches up so he could still have his couches. They used to be in the center, but now they're in here. Welcome to the desert. We're all having breakfast, the emergency alarm's going off, and none of us move. <laughs> Nobody moves. We're just like, hey, that's normal. <laughs> We're gonna talk about movie locations where we're gonna talk about oh my god I am having a brain fart be grateful make good choices in your own adventures and I'll catch you on the flip side